hi guys welcome to my youtube channel hashtag today we discuss uh, about en en i mean electrical network analysis in this video we read ena in detail so we start our lecture chapter 9 uh, en starts from chapter 9 books dekho sinusoids and phasers he who knows not and knows not that he knows not is a fool such uh, shun him he who knows not and knows that he knows not is a child teach him he who knows and uh, knows not that he knows is asleep wake him up he, he who knows and knows that he knows is wise follow him and changing your skills and your career an ability to function multidisciplinary team the ability to function a multidisciplinary team skip this now we uh, start again from history nikola tesla 1856 1943 and george westing house 1846 to 1914 helped establish alternating current as a primary mode of electricity transmission and distribution today it is obvious that ac generation is well established as the form of electric power that that makes uh, that makes a widespread distribution of electric power efficient and economical however at the end of 19th century which was a better ac or dc was hostly that was hostly was hostly debited and had extremely outspoken supporters on both sides the dc side was led by thomas edison who who had earned a lot of respect for his many contribution power generation using ac really began to build after successful contribution of tesla the real commercial success in came from george West, West, westinghouse and the outstanding team include tesla including tesla he assembled He assembled, uh, in addition, uh, two other big names were C. F. Scott and B. G. Lamb. The most significant contribution to early success of AC alternating current was the was the patent patenting of the polyphase AC motor by Tesla in 1888. Then the induction motor and polyphase generation and distribution system. Uh, de- demoed the use of uh, dc as the primary energy source introduction 9.1 thus far our analysis has been limited for the most part to dc circuit uh, though those circuit exact, uh, excited by constant through time in wa- in variant sources we have restrict, uh, restricted the forcing function to dc source for the sake of simplicity for uh, for we uh, pedagogic reason also for histo- historic reason historical dc source were the main means of providing electric power up until the late 18th century at the end of the uh, dead century the battle of direct current uh, where various alternating current began both had their advocates among the electrical engineers of the time because uh, electronic elect- alternating current is more efficient and economical to transmit over long distance alternating system in ended uh, up the winner thus it is in keeping with the historical sequence of even that we considered dc source first we now begin the analysis of circuits in which the source voltage or current is time varying in this chapter we are particularly in, in interested in sinusoidal time varying excitation or simply excitation by a sinusoid a sinusoid is signal that a sinusoid is a signal that has the form of the sine or cosine function a, a sinusoidal current is usually referred at, uh, to as alternating current ac such as current reverses at regular time interval and as alternating positive and negative values circuits driven by sinusoidal current or voltage source are called ac circuit 
we are interested in sinusoids for number of reasons first nature itself is characteristical sinusoidal experience uh, sinusoidal variation in the motion of pendulum the vibration of string the ripples on the occasion surface and the natural response of under damped second order system to mention but a few second a sinusoidal signal is easy to generate and transmit it is the form of voltage generated throughout the world and supplied to homes factories laboratories and so on it is the dominant form of the signal in the communications uh, communications and electrical power industries third uh, row a Fourier analysis any prep any practical product signal can be represented by some of sinusoids. Sinusoids therefore play an important role in analysis of periodic signals. Lastly, a sinusoid is easy to handle mathematically. The derivative and integ integral of sinusoids are themselves sinusoids. For these and other reasons, the sinusoids is an extremely important function in circuit analysis. A sinusoidal uh, foreign function produced with the transient response and steady state response, much like the step function which we study in chapter 7 and 8. The transient response dies with the sum so that only the steady state response remains. When the transient response, uh, when the transient response has become negligible, small compared with the steady state response. We say that the circuit is operating at sinus sinusoidal steady state. It is it is the sinusoidal st steady state response that is of the main interest to us in this chapter. We begin with the basic discussion of a sinusoid and phaser. We then introduce the concept of impedance and admittance. The basic circuit law sketch of and ohms introduced for DC circuit will be applied to AC circuit. Finally, we consider application of AC circuit in phases, uh, shifters, and bridges. Now, guys, we stop our lecture and the remaining topic discuss in next video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel as tech.